Mm. Oh, hey guys. Today I am drinking a brand new Sauvignon Blanc that I just discovered and I'm obsessed. Also, I threw it in the freezer for like 15 minutes right before this and it is so frosty and refreshing. I know it shouldn't matter, but I love the bottle. It's so just like chic and modern looking. It's called Satellite Sauvignon Blanc. It is Marlboro Wine of New Zealand. Exhibits bright aromas of lime juice, kiwi, and black currant over a layer of tropical fruits. I mean, if that isn't like the perfect perfect chilled summertime wine. I don't know what is. I think this is going to be a repurchase for sure. Before we get things rolling, if you guys haven't already, please go ahead and click that big red subscribe button. Become a part of the family. Throw this video a thumbs up. And also if you could go ahead and click that notification bell right beneath the video, that is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video or put out a new live stream. Today is a different version of the number one product from five brands video that I did. Today is the skincare version of that. I feel like I'm even a little bit more excited to do this version of the video than the makeup version because I just love skincare. And it actually worked out perfectly because I really only have about five brands of skincare that I feel like I can speak to because I've used so many of their products. This is hard. This was a hard one, guys. I really had to sit down and figure out what my number one is from each brand because I'm here to tell you I have so many favorites from these brands. But I promise you, the deciding factor was not a coin toss. So we're going to kick things off talking about one of my favorite skincare brands, if not my most favorite skincare brand, which is, of course, Pharmacy. Guys, in my opinion, Pharmacy just cannot do anything wrong, especially their honey line. It is just killing it. And if you've been watching my channel, I think think you probably know what my number one is going to be. I've been talking about this mask since day one on my channel. It hasn't changed. It's still my favorite mask of all time. Yes, it is a honey potion mask. And I actually don't even have the product here to show you because I recently ran out of my last jar and I'm about to repurchase a new one. The full name of this is the Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mask. It is an intensely hydrating, warming honey face mask infused with antioxidants for a glowing complexion and skin that's plump with hydration. I love this mask for so many reasons. The number one reason being that I can use it several times a week because it's not taking anything away from my skin. It is putting things back into my skin. Its highlighted ingredients include a proprietary honey blend known for its soothing and humectant properties. This special honey delivers skin-loving moisture and nourishment plus antioxidants. Glycerin, which attracts moisture to skin and hydrates for a soft, supple look and feel. And and essential B vitamins that help to renew and smooth dry skin. I can double mask with this product, which I love. You know, I can do a clay mask beforehand, which is purifying, and then I can do the honey mask afterward, and it's gonna replenish any hydration that was lost. I don't think Sarah a Better Off Red would mind me telling you that there was a period of time when she was having some irritation on her skin that was pretty intense. It was basically a chemical burn on her skin, and the only thing that really worked toward healing that was indeed the honey potion mask. I also love that the application of this product kind of turns into a facial massage. When I start massaging this into my skin, it basically goes from feeling like honey and then it transforms into a rich cream as you go. So this is going to help with dryness, dullness and uneven texture and loss of firmness and elasticity. This is also a cruelty free product and it comes in recyclable packaging. Moving on to what is probably the most famous and hot skincare brand that exists drunk elephant. I think at this point I have tried almost every single thing that they carry. This was a tough one for me because I'm in love with several of their products, but the number one I decided to go with is the F-Balm Electrolyte Water Facial. Honestly, I was having a tough time deciding between the Sukari Baby Facial and this product, but the deciding factor for me was the fact that on a couple of occasions I have had a little bit of irritation specifically around this area. This is a really sensitive area for me. And when that happened, I layered on, of course, all of my normal serums and all of that, but I made sure to make this my final step in my skincare routine. And I'm here to tell you like 20 minutes later, I saw no signs.
sign of irritation. So this is a cooling, hydrating overnight mask that plumps with an electrolyte cocktail while supporting the skin's natural acid mantle. And that's basically what allowed this product to nurse my skin back to normal. So the highlighted ingredients are as follows, a four electrolyte blend, which includes antioxidant rich and powerful humectant ingredients, coconut water, sodium PCA, magnesium PCA, and prickly pear extract, which help maintain hydration levels in skin, improving barrier strength and lipid content, calming redness, and protecting against environmental dehydration. This also has vitamin F in it, and it also has niacinamide. This is a newer release for Drunk Elephant. I got it in my Sephora VIB haul, and I didn't get it without trying it first. I tried a trial size of it, and I absolutely loved it. So that's what convinced me to buy the full size. And one of these little skin irritation moments actually happened yesterday. So that sort of kicked this into first place for me because I could actually see the work it was doing. I could see that it healed my skin in like no time flat. This is a vegan and cruelty-free product and comes in recyclable packaging as well. Drunk Elephant F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial, good job. Woo! Mm. Next, we're gonna move on to another skincare brand that is just knocking it out of the park that I'm newly obsessed with. It is Glow Recipe. Everything I've tried from this brand, I love. So many just like above and beyond products, but I had to. I had to go with my Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. This is just one of those game changer products to me. This is a product that I will keep repurchasing and repurchasing. So this is going to aid in brightening and smoothing. And if you guys aren't currently using some sort of a vitamin C product in your skincare regimen, I highly recommend adding it in. This is a potent lightweight vitamin C and AHA serum concentrated with smoothing pineapple juice and hyaluronic acid to brighten and even tone. So it has pineapple juice, which helps to create the look of bright, smooth, and hydrated skin, vitamin C, which brightens and provides antioxidants, and chamomile, which calms and soothes skin, creating a gentle formula for sensitive skin. I love the smell of this. I love the feel of this. It's really lightweight, but it also feels just really rich and luxurious when you put it on your skin. This is like the serum I look forward to applying most. Again, this product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. I've never had any issue with any sort of sensitivity to this product, so I do use it once a day, if not twice a day, morning and night. So now we're moving on to our most affordable skincare brand in the lineup, and that is Good Molecules. This is actually probably, yeah, I would venture to say this was the toughest decision I had to make. So many of Good Molecules products are winners in my opinion. I don't know if you guys watch Penn Smith Skincare, but if you don't, you absolutely should subscribe to her because she has some of the best skincare advice on the interwebs. She just put out a video that broke down her absolute favorites from Good Molecules, and I would be lying. I'd be lying if if I said that it didn't sort of influence how I felt because I love so many of their products that I needed like an expert like her to kind of be like, yes, they're all amazing, but these are really going to change your skin. So with my opinion and a little bit of Penn Smith Skincare's opinion combined, I went with the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. So this is one of the first products that I started using from Good Molecules. And this is back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like a year ago when I just didn't know what Niacinamide was at all. Okay, so this is formulated with Niacinamide, Vitamin C, Arbutin, and Licorice Root Extract to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. So this is another product along with my Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum that I just feel like has given me the smoothest, most even texture of my life. The Arbutin improves the look of hyperpigmentation while licorice root extract soothes inflammation and inhibits excess melanin production. There are a couple ways you can apply this. You can put it on a cotton pad and just smooth it over your skin that way. I actually just put it directly into my palm and press it into my skin and kind of like an essence. So what I'll tend to do is cleanse. I will go in with this and an essence right afterward, and then I'll put my hyaluronic acid over that so it really seals all of those products into my skin. This is an alcohol-free toner. It is vegan. It is a clean skincare brand. Love, love, love this product. Now, I'm a little bit of a cheater because I do have a runner-up for Good Molecules, and it is the Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. They're formulated to firm, energize, and hydrate tired eyes. Before I do a video or a live stream, I will oftentimes put these on for like 
like 30 minutes and my under eyes look so much better. This is also another love of Penn Smith skincare. She swears by these. She loves to start her day with these. So these also have niacinamide in them. They have 1% caffeine to depuff and they have hyaluronic acid. So many good things in these eye patches. And the great thing is for how slippery they are, they don't move around that much. I mean, they might move like a teeny tiny bit, but after that, they are staying in place. I can walk around, do whatever I need to do, and I just peel them right off. And then whatever serum is left underneath my eye, I will just lightly pat that in, and then I can go over that with my eye cream if I want. Also, not important, but I feel like I need to point out that when they're on your face, you look really rad. Like you have this sort of slick sort of AI situation going on, like you're from outer space. Mm. Yeah. So the last brand I want to talk about is Glossier. And you're like, Kate, why is Glossier on your list of brands? It's not even a skincare brand. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Yes, they are a makeup brand, but they have fantastic skincare. And the whole idea behind their brand is skin first, makeup second. This one was not difficult for me. I knew exactly what my number one was going to be. I didn't even have to think twice about it. It is definitely their priming moisturizer rich. To this day, after all of the fabulous night creams I've used and all of the skincare I've discovered, this is still my go-to night cream. I don't even know how to explain the scent to you. Well, yeah, I do. It's lavender. Picture yourself running through a damn French lavender field because that's what you feel like when you put this on your face. Oh, it is so fresh. It is so clean. It is a very thick, luxurious night cream. A blend of shea and muru muru butters melt right into skin for a sumptuous feel. It's rich in ceramides and fatty acids that reinforce skin's moisture barrier. How many times are we going to mention that in this video? So important and lock in moisture over time. Anti-redness complex soothes while the oxygenating agent breathes life into stressed complexions, visibly improving skin's texture and giving it a clean, dewy balanced finish another thing i love about this it is soy calming it is going to calm any redness any irritation on my face this is 35 dollars, and for a luxurious night cream i feel like that's pretty inexpensive and this can also compete with bougier night creams and it's just as good i'm telling you if you're looking for a new moisturizer just run do not walk and get the priming moisturizer rich from glossier okay guys so that wraps up my number one product picks from five Five brands skincare edition. I hope you enjoyed this. I feel like I have really picked like the best of the best, like the creme de la creme, cream of the crop products to talk about today. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you tomorrow at my live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm kind of running out of ideas right now. I don't know why, but I just don't feel like the most creative version of myself. So if you guys have any ideas for live stream topics that you want to see, please let me know in the comments below. And cheers till next time. Mm. Yeah.